Real acuity uh, simply means that how accurately we can see an object or we can say it is the degree to which the details and contours of the object are perceived. Physiologically, visual acuity can be defined as the shortest distance, shortest distance by which two lines can be separated and still be perceived as two lines. Now, uh, the normal visual acuity of human eye is about 25 seconds of the arc. It means then when the light rays from two separate points, they strike the eye with an angle of at least 25 seconds between them, then they can be perceived or recognized as two points instead of the one. Now, in this figure, this is shown. These are the two point sources of the light and they are emitting light rays which are passing through the lens and converging on the retina. Now, the angle between these two points is 25 seconds and this is the maximum visual acuity of the human eye. In this case, uh, our brain is seeing them as two separate points. But what if I move this point closer to this point? Okay, if I move this point closer to this point, then of course the angle between these two, these two points, it will be less than 25 seconds. It will be 20 seconds or 18 seconds or something. Now, in this scenario, uh, although they are two separate points, but our brain, it will consider them as a single point because now the distance between these two, it is less than 25 seconds and the maximum ability of our retina and brain is to perceive uh, uh, a visual acuity which is at least uh, corresponding to 25 seconds. Now, uh, here I will try to explain that what is a second of the arc. Now, this whole circle as we all know, this is 360 degrees, okay. So, this is 0 degree and this is 90 degree, okay. So, suppose this is a 1 degree, okay. Here I have shown 1 degree out of these 360 degrees, we have shown here 1 degree. So, we make it larger like this. So, this is this hole is 1 degree. Okay. If I divide this 1 degree into 60 smaller portions, then each portion will be a minute. It means a degree it is made up of 60 seconds. A degree is made up of 60 smaller portions and each portion is a minute. So, this is a minute. Okay. This small distance is 1 minute. And now suppose that this small distance, we can divide this small distance into 60 further portions. Then each of these portions will be a second. So, it means that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, what does it mean? It means that this whole degree, it consists, consists of about 3600 small portions which are seconds or we can say that 1 degree is equal to 3600 seconds. So, out of these 3600 seconds, our visual acuity is 25 seconds. So, now you can imagine that how accurately we can see the objects. Now, fovea centralis, okay? uh, this is the picture of retina and this is macula lutea in the posterior pole of the globe and we know that in the center of macula lutea there is fovea centralis. So, fovea centralis is that portion of our retina where our visual acuity is maximum because uh, this portion contains only cones and no rods. But as we uh, move out of the foveal region, the visual acuity becomes progressively poorer decreasing more than tenfold as the periphery of the retina is, attain, is approached. Now, we can uh, test the visual acuity uh, also and uh, the chart which is, which is used to test the visual acuity, it is called Snellen chart. With the help of Snellen chart, we can test the visual acuity. And what is the method? Uh, in this, we uh, make the subject sit at a distance of about 6 meters or 20 feet from the Snellen chart and then the subject whose visual equity we are uh, 
testing right now and the subject or the person he reads the smallest line which he can okay and then the results are usually expressed in the form of a fraction like this k visual equity is equal to subject over normal here the numerator of the uh, fraction is the distance of the subject from the chart which remains fixed that is about uh, 6 meters or 20 feet and the denominator is basically the distance of the normal person from the snellen chart okay so we can say that is it is the greatest distance from the chart at which a normal person can read the smallest line i explain this in this figure now this is a typical snellen chart as you can see in this figure this is the typical snellen chart so if a subject uh, he reads only this letter t and he cannot read the rest of the chart then it means that the visual acuity of the subject according to this formula is 6 by 60 because this letter this line corresponds to 60 similarly if an other person he can read this line and this line also he can read the letters v and h then his visual acuity as is written here it will be 6 by 36 and 6 by 36 means that the subject is reading this line at the distance of 6 meters while a normal person can read the same line at the distance of 36 meters similarly a subject who can read up to this line v u a x t his visual acuity will be 6 by 12 and at this level of vision many social activities are possible please remember that the normal visual acuity is 6 by 6 and a person having having 6 by 6 visual acuity he must reach this second second last line y u x t h a o v so if a subject can read this line then his visual acuity is 6 by 6 or quite normal uh we should also remember that the snellen charts are designed so that each letter of the snellen chart it subtends a visual angle of about 5 minutes and each line is separated by 1 minute of the arc what does it mean uh so what do you think will be the maximum visual acuity which we can check by snellen chart will it be in seconds yes of course no the maximum visual acuity which can be tested by snellen chart is 1 minute suppose this is a letter from the snellen chart okay this is the whole letter so it is designed in such a way that at a distance of 6 meter from the subject who is here this letter will subtend an angle of 5 minutes of the arc okay and this letter is designed in such a way that each of its limb it makes an angle of 1 minute okay so first limb of this letter e it is making an angle of 1 minute then the space between its two limbs here and here it is again an angle of 1 minute then there is this limb this is also again an angle of 1 minute then the space again between this limb and this limb this is making making an angle of 1 minute and the last limb is also again of 1 minutes so this whole thing then 1 2 3 4 5 so this whole letter is making an angle of 5 minutes of arc on the subject side please note that visual acuity is a complex phenomenon and it is influenced by a variety of factors like optical factors for example the state of the image forming mechanisms of the eye then there are retinal factors for example the state of the cones and lastly there are stimulus factors which are also very important that is illumination brightness of the stimulus uh, brightness of the stimulus the contrast between the stimulus and the background